Jesus says, Not everything is as it seems. Seek always my wisdom. February 28, 2018 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, I would not have you to be ignorant of the spiritual dynamics you are dealing with. There truly is great warfare going on all around you. The angels are quite busy taking care of everything that pertains to you, Claire. I will establish you in honor over this flock. I have chosen you to lead and will not abandon you. Claire, the wisdom I endow you with will reach out to others and bless them. Do not worry, my beloved. Are we not one? Now I will tell you that you must fight to keep this healing. The devils are very clever and will do everything in their power, pitiful as it is, to cause your faith to flounder. Do not allow this. Take a firm stand from the beginning in dealing with them. Don't give them any room to cause compromise. Be steadfast and firm. Do not give way to any suggestion that says he is not healed. I have indeed heard your cry, my beloved. I have indeed healed him. Rest in this, but you will have to fight for it. You are under attack in many different ways, Claire. It is, as you said, a delicate balance in showing hospitality and still being faithful to those who are awaiting a word from me. Yet may I say to you all, heart dwellers, I have called and equipped you through this channel to be getting your own words every day. And when Claire is absent to you, I am present to you and will not fail to answer those who are willing to wait on me, as she does. All of you have the same access to me that Claire has. This is the very heart of her mission to you, that none should go without hearing and understanding me clearly. Yes, there are many pitfalls to understanding my will, but I have addressed all of them in her previous messages and teachings. That is my way of saying, beloved ones, you have been equipped to hear me, if you will just put forth the effort. But what I am wanting to stress to all of you right now is, that there is a particularly intense battle going on to steal from you your very special destinies and missions. The enemy has launched an all-out effort to deprive you of your callings. The distractions and tactics will come in many different forms, and forewarned is forearmed. Not all that seems bad is bad. Not all that seems good is good. Each thing must be discerned on an individual basis. This is at the heart of following me faithfully and living in my divine will. Constant attentiveness and discernment are necessary to navigate these shark-infested waters. For those of you who play chess, you know that all is not as it appears to be. There are constant hidden factors in each event, and only your paying close attention to me will forewarn you of the hidden implications and traps. I have attended to each of you with great care, teaching you sensitivity when danger is in the air. I have taught you also how to interpret the times and movements of my heart, to look at the small details, but keep in mind the greater picture, because your enemy knows well how to play on your vulnerabilities. 
but this is also a new season, a time of new tactics, unseen in your lives before. As you become more and more attuned to the movements of the enemy, the adversary is training them in different ways to defeat you. Therefore, you must be on guard constantly, thoroughly discerning each event on its own merits or demerits. Claire, when you see cracks around the edges, those things that don't settle right in your spirit, pay attention and make note. The devils cannot cover thoroughly their tracks. They are bound to slip up. And when I draw your attention to something, there is a reason for it. Make note. Do not discredit your observation or write it off out of charity. Take note and wait on me for further revelation. Now you know what I am referring to, do you not? Yes, Lord, I think I do. Well, then take note and pay attention. Do not judge any person. Judge behavior and it will give you great insight without doing violence to a soul. I have taught you all, do not judge a person's motives, but do look for fruit as well as results, and in what direction they are weighted. Does this action lead to selflessness and ministry, or does it lead to selfishness and disorder? You, my children, can tell so much by observing the choices others make. Do they choose for my good or for their own good? Are they focused or are they wandering? Not all of this is what it seems to be on the surface. And to those who ridicule this approach, I would say to you, be on the alert lest you fall through presumption and thinking that you know when in fact you do not know. There is so much to learn about people and events, and prudence and brotherly love are at the top of the accurate discernment list. Seek me in all things, and do not rely on your own understanding. I love you, my brides. I am bringing you to maturity. Walk humbly and cautiously through the days ahead. Cleave to me and seek my wisdom always.